Choosing the right ebook maker. It is possible to make books on the iPad, and with this one here, you don't really get iBooks that you can use. You don't really get ebooks, you don't get ePub formats. You do get the possibility to export out to PDF, and you also get the possibility of sending stuff out to the server of this particular site, and you can share books. But I'm exporting a book out at the moment, and it hasn't got a lot in it, and it's taking forever, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as a good application to use for making ebooks. And what else have we got? We've got the Easy EPUB Code Editor, now 14 euros to buy. I think it's a bit expensive, but it does look like it does everything, and I wouldn't mind giving it a try, but, well, I think I might just wait and see if I can see this come out on sale sometime and buy it a whole lot cheaper, because I'm not going to buy it at that price. Well, next we have eBook Maker, this one at 4.49 to buy. And the actual details, the pictures that we got here, we see is the bookcase, and we've got some various bits and pieces there, but don't see actually how it's like to use it, to actually make books. So this one I'd be uh, disinclined to use it unless I get more information about um, actually what it's like to do things, how to get text in there and so on. And at the moment I can't really see much evidence of uh, what it's like to use and how good the details, the books are, that come out of it. So next we have this rapid book creator. A little bit cheaper at 269 and it's the fastest way to generate books, it says. Well, I wouldn't mind giving this one a try. Um, it looks quite simple. I'm um, showing the iPhone view of it here. And, um, well, I'd be perhaps keen to give it a go. It seems that you can bring in uh, web pages and put them into there. And um, I'm tempted to give this one a go. It looks a little bit on the simple side, um, but it could be the job. Let's uh, have a look and see what else we've got as well, though. Ebook creator. This looks like an um, ebook creator that is more suitable for children. You can kind of tell by the graphics that they have on there and the, uh, the typefaces that have been used. And I'm not sure if this is really going to be most suitable for a professional sort of ebook creation tool. But at €3.59, maybe it's worth a try. I'll have to have a think about that one. Book creator for iPad. I have this one, I've tried it out. It's pretty simple in use, and it's good for getting pictures in there. Not so good for getting text in there, because if you want text and you want it to flow from one box into another, or from one page to another, you're going to find that a little bit difficult. You're going to have to uh, end up adjusting the size of text to get what you want, and then, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't work very well with text, and I'm not that keen on it for that. But for small books that are more pictures and a little bit of text, it could be just the job, just what you're looking for. Moving on, we're looking at Express Books. And this one here is more for the children again, but look at it. You can easily put little stamps in there. You've got brush, pencil, pen and stuff like that. And uh, again, you don't get a chance to flow text from one to another. So you're looking at doing it a page at a time with that there. Now this one here, Book Writer, ebook PDF Creator. Same sort of price as the previous one. And again, on this one here, we don't get a lot of information about what it's like to actually use it, but judging by the pictures there, it looks like it's for mainly sort of pictures, but with a little bit of text in there. And what we're looking for is something that we can actually sort of make a book out of. And books, well, I mean, they have to have a fair bit of text in the book as well, so could be what you're looking for if you want a photo book. Ebook Magic, well, 4.49 for this one. And again, what is it with these uh, people that make these applications that they don't want to put in details about what it's like to use it? We've got a bit there about picking multiple photos, auto-create pages. That looks like it could be quite good. But nothing in there about whether it's possible to take some text and make it flow from one text box or one page to another. This is something that would have to be tried. And at 4.49, I think I would try the free ones or the uh, lower price ones first of all. Text to EPUB. Obviously, this is going to be a very simple one. It's only 89 cents to buy. And it's just text files. I don't even know if you've got the possibility to put a picture front cover on this here. So uh, this one here is something, if you want to make something really simple, and uh, it does do EPUB, so that is something to be said in its favour, and the fact that it's cheap too. Daedalus Touch text based thing, and obviously you can have text that goes from one page to another. Now the way this works is kind of like stacks and you can have a page which is really, really long. 
So this is Dave Allen looking at a few applications for creating ebooks on the iPad. Don't forget another possibility for making an ebook on the iPad would be to use Pages and then export it out or using an iCloud, get it onto your Mac, you open up Pages there and then you can export it out from the Pages application on your Mac. So there's another possibility. I think the iBooks author is going to be the best possibility for making a iBook but don't forget that's only going to be working on the iPad and if you want it to work on other readers or other applications maybe you're going to have to look at something else for making ebooks. This is Dave Allen. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.